Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper back at you with another video tutorial. Today we're checking out Ripcord, which is a brand new, completely free VST3 from Trackbout. And it's very simple to use and very, very powerful. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the setup, both the installation process and how to get audio coming out of it. It's a VST, but there is no audio generation inside of the plugin itself. You have to do some MIDI routing inside of your DAW. I'm gonna show you inside of Ableton Live, but it will be more or less the same in whatever DAW you're using. I'm also gonna show you how to set up your own preset, and I'm gonna show you how to download presets from the community. So, and that's actually a really, really cool feature that we're gonna to touch on towards the end. Ripcord is a VST3 plugin. There is no VST2. Steinberg has actually kind of phased out VST2. They're not really granting any more new licenses, as I understand it. So it shouldn't be an issue because Ableton Live was kind of the last major DAW to implement VST3 support. What you're gonna do is download the zip file and just drop the VST3 in wherever your VST folder is. Inside of, say, Windows 10, it's inside of Program Files, Common, VST3. So just go ahead and make a folder in there. I made a folder called Trackbout drop the VST3 file inside of there, launch Ableton Live, and boom, here we go. So what this plugin does is, let's say I press C3 on my keyboard. You can see that C3 is lighting up right here, and nothing's happening, but what I can do is arrange a chord up here at the top in the output section, and whenever I press that C3, it will trigger that chord. So for example, if I hit edit, and then I click C3, it gives me the green to say, you know, let's go ahead and make something. And I come up here and let's just make a C major. I can name it C major, all right? And I can name the preset, tutorial, and then just come into play. And now if I hit C3 on my keyboard, I'm getting the C major chord. Rip chord doesn't know music theory, so you're going to have to know your chords. But don't worry, if you don't, know your chords, you can easily find them online, or you can use some of the community presets to get you started. So let's go ahead and set up the routing inside of Ableton Live. I have Ripcord right here on this MIDI channel. What I'm gonna do is come into Packs, Grand Piano, Sounds. Um, just take this bright solo here, drop it on this MIDI. And what I wanna do is MIDI from, all ins, go to Ripcord, Post Effects, go to Ripcord, and then set Monitor to In, and then Arm the Ripcord track, and then I press C3 on my keyboard, and I'm getting that chord. So you can do that for as many of these keys as you want, all right? If I wanna edit, I can do it for this one, and you know, make something else, something like that, you know, and then I'd rename it, and so on and so forth. So where this thing gets really, really cool is the community presets. So it just got released today, so there's not a ton of presets available, but if we all get this plugin and we all start contributing to it, it will be really, really powerful. So the way to get to that is you're gonna click right here and come down to community presets. I'm gonna click that, it's gonna launch the Trackbout presets webpage, and you're gonna have to log in here, and then you just come down here and download them, but to download, you just gotta click the keys here. So Topanga, Trippy Red, I'm just gonna click that. It's gonna download, very, very quick, very small file. I'm gonna come back into Ableton Live. I'm gonna hit this again. I'm gonna say Import Preset. I'm gonna navigate to where it downloaded, so that's the download. Topanga, double click. All right, so now I'm playing those lush, lush chords with a, one simple key press. And I can still edit these too. Let's say, you know, come in here. Let's say I want to go ahead and throw this on there. Boom. Okay. And another really cool thing that I noticed is after you import the preset from wherever you downloaded it to, it will actually duplicate that file into the presets folder. So now I can click presets and I'll have all of those other ones in the right spot ready to go. So if I come into levels, you know, ghosts and stuff. It's a very, very easy to use cool plugin 
that I think as long as the community can be strong, is going to be really, really sweet. In terms of who this plugin is for, are people who don't know music theory that just want to download a preset and have those great chords from some of the most popular music. And even if it's just uh, from the community, maybe they made up a chord set that sounds really nice. It doesn't have to be from a you know, pop song like Ghosts and stuff. And I also think it's going to be for live production or live performance. You know, it's much easier if you're on stage and you don't have a strong music theory background with, you know, classical training and piano, for example, just to hit one key and have a full lush chord play for you. So I can easily play like. Boom, and it sounds like ghosts and stuff. And all I'm doing is pressing four keys on my keyboard. So a very, very cool, potentially very, very powerful VST ripcord. It's completely free to download. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the video description if you wanna check it out. Anyway, I know you guys kind of like these music theory things here on the channel, so I figured why not throw this one up there. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.